Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa witnessed yesterday in the presence of the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa the conclusion of the joint military drills to Moon 4 carried out by the BDF Royal Guard using live ammunition. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. At the beginning of the drill, His Majesty the King listened to a briefing on the drill's exercises and the stages of the implementation, as well as the success it achieved to fulfill its goals. His Majesty then watched the tactical exercise with live ammunition, expressing pride in the participants' high combat readiness. He asserted his keenness on enhancing combat abilities and developing training levels through the drill and the specialized courses that increase the level of professionalism for all the BDF officers. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his excellent management and for his efforts to develop combat competencies of the Royal Guard officers. He hailed the participation of the Royal Guard and BDF officers and their cooperation with the Arab coalition and the Operation Restoring Hope led by Saudi Arabia and the successes and victories they achieved to combat terrorism and provide humanitarian aid to people in Yemen. His Majesty affirmed that the BDF officers are a source of appreciation and pride for their unity and courage in def defending the country and its developmental march, wishing them all success.
After that, the drill organizers greeted His Majesty the King, and His Majesty expressed thanks for their efforts that contributed to the drill's success. The drill was attended by the Chief of Staff. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Forks, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam Khalaf, who presented to His Highness the Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Horse Affairs Authority, Da'ej bin Salman Al Khalifa and Board Members. His Highness affirmed the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa regarding horses affairs in the Kingdom and ways to further develop the horses organization for its role in highlighting the rich heritage of the country. He added that the Kingdom are following strategic plans according to royal directives to establish a board of directors for the Horse Affairs Authority. His Highness expressed confidence that the board will contribute positively to the Horses March of Bahrain and will be able to implement the royal directives to achieve further progress. His Highness stressed the importance of the authority in encouraging the youth to practice the horse sports and provide all facilitations needed to discover and enhance the skills of the youth. Sheikh Daij expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his royal trust and also praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's continuous support to horse affairs. The advisor of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, yesterday attended the reception ceremony hosted by the Ambassador of Germany to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Kai Boekman. The event is celebrating Germany's National Day and was attended by officials, uh, diplomatic figures accredited to the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Salman highlighted the depth of the Bahraini-Germany ties, hailing the progress of the bilateral relations in various fields, which reflect the keenness of both countries to elevate cooperation in a manner that serves mutual interests. The German ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Salman for attending the ceremony, noting the advanced levels of the bilateral ties, wishing the kingdom and its people further progress and prosperity. Bahrain and Germany enjoy a strong partnership and friendship on so many levels. Today, the German Embassy, along with the German community in Bahrain, celebrated the 29th anniversary of German unity with their Bahraini friends and family. Well, today we are so happy that all our Bahraini friends are celebrating the Day of German Unity with us. It is a great uh, joy for us and uh, the German-Bahraini relations continue to develop and uh, to grow. We have uh, German business companies who are investing in Bahrain and uh, exporting goods. We have German artists who come to Bahrain and uh, we have excellent relations uh, with uh, the government. A documentary was displayed after the national anthem of both countries, showcasing how Germany progressed over the years since German unity. Tonight we are celebrating our national day the day of the reunification here in Bahrain. We are celebrating every year. This is the highlight of the year and we enjoy it very much. Really, everybody is coming together. We are all coming together. We are honored that we are in Bahrain to celebrate this special day, which does mean a lot for Germany. 
Uh, we're very happy to live in Bahrain. We're almost uh, eight years now in Bahrain. Wonderful country. Many aspects of the German culture were enjoyed by everyone during the event. German music and food were very interesting to both Germans and Bahrainis. I am very happy to attend the anniversary of Germany to celebrate with the German people. Actually, we still remember the year of 1989 when Berlin Wall is fell down and that uh, become one country from east and west. It's fantastic so far. Uh, it was it, only, as I told you, uh, I've been here only three weeks now. But it was fantastic. I saw, I saw so much of your country. Everyone is so friendly and um, I feel really, really welcome. Such events display the harmony, friendship and solidarity between not only governments of Bahrain and Germany, but also peoples. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim al Mutawwa, stressed that the government forum, which will be held on Sunday under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, and the follow an initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, comes in continuation of achieving government aspiration and implementing projects and initiatives aimed at developing mechanisms of enhancing government performance and providing high quality government services, and fulfills the aspirations of the comprehensive of development march led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Lamtawa noted that the government forum will focus on the 2019 to 2022 government plan on sustainable economic and social security within a fiscal balance framework, enhancing the quality of government services, creating promising employment opp opportunities through the national employment program, and transforming challenges into future opportunities. Under the patronage of the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rasha bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Society in London held a ceremony which was attended by Bahrain Ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, UK officials, intellectuals and representatives from research and decision-making organizations. At the beginning of the event, the President of the Society, Peter Sincock, delivered a welcoming speech expressing thanks and appreciation to the Interior Minister for attending and meeting the Society's members. He held the historic and distinguished ties between in Bahrain and the UK, expressing hope for further cooperation between the two friendly countries. The Minister of Interior then delivered a speech on the occasion. I always welcome the chance to speak to the Bahrain society because it is such a pleasure to talk to friends who know Bahrain so well, who care for our country, who recognize what we have achieved and what we are facing, and who are standing up for the Kingdom of Bahrain and for our partnership with the United Kingdom. Since my last visit, it's fair to say that quite a lot has changed in Bahrain and the wider region. And I want to give you a brief overview of both these developments and the emerging challenges we still confront. I think it is appropriate that I should bring up my hat trick of remarks to the society in the year when we begin celebrating the centenary of the establishment of Bahrain's police in 1919. I know that some of you here tonight are among those who have given such valuable service to the development of our police over the course of many years. We deeply appreciate your support, and we know that you have stood by us in both good times and bad. Indeed, I think it's fair to say that the British expertise experience and effort has been a foundation of the modern, responsive and community-focused police service that we are proud to have in Bahrain today. Ladies and gentlemen, I am confident to say that our crime rate is back to normal, as it was in 2008 and 2009. And we will 
need to remain vigilant to new and emerging threats from technology, such as cybercrime and the use of drones to conduct strikes. Just as we are alert to and prepared for well-known challenges such as ballistic missile threats. We have seen the truth nature of these threats with the recent attacks on Saudi Aramco facilities. And we are in Bahrain greatly appreciate the United Kingdom stands with us in condemning these outrageous acts. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that one of the most urgent threats to national security is from those who seek to divide us against each other, who want us to see ourselves not as citizens of our nation, but in terms of our sect, our religion, our ethnicity. But it is in the face of this ideology threat. I have become convinced of the need to reassert our Bahraini identity, to remember what binds us together as citizens loyal to our country and to each other, and to reaffirm that the most enduring forms of security and prosperity are those based on cooperation, community, and mutual respect. Based on this conviction, I have begun a new initiative with the title of the National Plan to Promote a Sense of National Belonging, which I prefer to call it by its shorter name, simply Our Bahrain. This initiative aims to reinforce a sense of nationality, placing our shared Bahraini identity at our core rather than being divided by religion or sect. It takes in over 90 different programs from fields including education, media, youth, sport, and culture. And it puts into practice the aspiration of His Majesty the King for people to see themselves first and foremost as Bahrainis. I am convinced that initiatives like this are our best defense against sectarianism and division, particularly given the regional situation we face in the long term, they will form an integral part of what we can call our national security policy in its widest sense. Alongside measures such as Bahrain's new alternative sentencing law, which, for example, allows for non-custodial sentences such as community service, training, or addiction treatment. Taking together such developments show how we have moved decisively beyond immediate stabilization and security issues and how we are putting in place the best possible framework to address future challenges through focusing on our people, our community, and our shared identity. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I hope my remarks tonight have given you at least an overview, an update of where we have been and where we are aiming to go. Allow me to conclude on a note of optimism, if I may. Bahrain and the United Kingdom have been through much over their two centuries of friendship and partnership, many ups and few downs. But I am in no doubt that, with the support and advocacy of our friends such as you, 
in the Bahrain society. Our countries have even a brighter future ahead based on our shared values and interests and on the unbreakable personal ties which stand out so clearly here tonight. Thank you very much and enjoy it. Under the patronage of the Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin, Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Southern Government organized today its second investment forum 2019 under the slogan Select South. More on this report with Habab Al Ghaffar. Promoting the fertile and attractive environment of investment in various fields provided by the Southern Governorate, the second Southern Governorate Forum for Investment Development in 2019, organized by the Southern Governorate under the patronage of the Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, brings together officials, investors and young Bahraini entrepreneurs. We aim to support the entrepreneurs and the companies in the Southern Government. It's such an amazing opportunity to welcome them all and to host this event in order to promote the Southern Government and to indicate how it is essential to support the private sector and to work closely with them. And we have maintained a very close partnership with the entrepreneurs and companies to maintain all of the progress and development in the Southern Government. And this aims to indicate that the Southern Government is the ideal location for investment, especially with our slogan, Select South, which aims to select this region, this area. Uh, it's a very strategic and important area, and we aim always to support the business sector. The event highlights the importance of sharing knowledge and expertise to enable entrepreneurs to develop innovative mechanisms, frameworks and tools in the investment field and to put forward ideas to enhance local direct investment and its contribution to the achievement of development goals. Very important forum to enhance the youth in this part of Bahrain to, to uh, be engaged in the entrepreneurship and to, to uh, start their investment projects and their uh, even startup projects that, that, and that will, which, which I, I believe that it's going to really succeed because of the strategic location of this uh, government. The forum reinforces the role of young entrepreneurs and major investment companies and highlights the entrepreneurial projects as well as embracing a constellation of projects for young entrepreneurs and institutions at the Southern Governorate. It's a very supportive platform, so I think they should take advantage of it. And being in this platform today, that's exactly what I got from the platform, is that they are willing to support entrepreneurs and they're welcoming them to invest here, um, uh, to have opportunities and grow with them. This type of forums uh, gives them uh, different ways how to meet new businesses and collab with them and move them to better, prosperous businesses in the future. The Southern Governor stressed that the Southern Governorate possesses the elements of building a modern city, including Khalifa City, which was established to achieve the objectives of sustainable development to become a comprehensive model city, according to the latest development standards. This platform itself, the forum itself, is a very good opportunity for us, like being entrepreneurs, to be able to be in the market and see people to see us where. The, we as entrepreneurs, we need support. We need somebody to help us to grow up and things. So this is an opportunity a very good for us for to be here. And thanks to Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Al Khalifa, who actually doing this kind of thing for us. His Highness praised the prominent role played by young Bahraini entrepreneurs and their role in contributing to the forward march of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The second Southern Governorate Investment Forum in 2019, Select South, supports entrepreneurs and promotes the positive business environment in the Southern Governorate. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received today former Chief of Staff in the United Kingdom, Lord David Richards and Lord George Robertson, currently visiting the kingdom. The minister welcomed both lords and affirmed the depth of the strong historical relations between Bahrain and the UK in light of their mutual keenness to enhance cooperation, coordination and communication in various fields. He stated that the two countries are in constant interaction to open up wider horizons for the overall bilateral cooperation aspects and to develop the coordination mechanism 
mechanisms on all issues of common concern, noting UK's important role in maintaining regional security and stability. Lord Richards and Lord Robertson expressed pleasure in meeting with the minister, praising the close relations between the two countries and people, and expressed appreciation for Bahrain's role in promoting collective action against various challenges. The Bahraini ambassador in Washington, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, attended a ceremony marking General Mark Milley's assignment to a new mission as the 20th chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff of the U.S. Armed Forces. The ceremony was held by the Pentagon under the auspices of U.S. President Donald Trump and attended by senior U.S. officials led by U.S. Vice President Mike Pence and Secretary of Defense Mike Esper. The ambassador conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and wishes of success to General Mark Milley. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to reinforce the bilateral relations and carry on its constructive military cooperation to achieve security and stability in the region. It is worth mentioning that the position of chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff is the highest military position in the U.S. Armed Forces and is considered the senior military advisor to the U.S. President, Secretary of Defense and National Security Council.